You may have noticed that sorcerers and sorceresses seem to look the same age despite decades going by. With sorceresses going for a 20-something year old maiden look with a world-weary soul and sorcerers going for a man in his prime of life. Though, of course, there are exceptions. But that wasn't always the case for mages. For a while there, they actually had to deal with aging just like us peasant folk. So yeah, it actually wasn't until a sorcerer named Ortolan discovered a mandrake concoction, a elixir that halted the aging process. Until then, mages, sorcerers, sorceresses, whatever, knowing ones, they just aged like the, the rest of humanity. But once Artolin created a reliable acting formula, the mages started using it and then utilizing magic to appear mostly as they wanted. Unfortunately, with this elixir, it stopped aging, but it would not rejuvenate. Meaning, wherever you were at at the aging process, once you took the elixir, that's where you stopped. For Ortolan, he was an elderly man by the time he took it, so he stayed looking like a very elderly old man. Which is super unfortunate. I actually look forward to our own world when we create a anti-aging serum, but then there are some people that are obviously middle-aged or elderly who take it, and then that's how they look their entire lives. And then you have people that were younger or in the prime of their life taking it. I think that would be a little bit fun. It would be the first generation uh, of people stuck being in their middle age or elderly time. By the way, if you're wondering why they couldn't use magic to then make or tell and look younger, magic has limits, so even if they take a, a woman and she becomes a mage, and they use magic to make her more beautiful. It's not perfect. If you look closely, you'll see basically how that happened. You might see the seams up top, or you might notice the eyebrows just aren't quite... There's always a way to tell. So even with magic beautifying people, there's a limit. Now, you may be wondering at this point, okay, so... A mage discovered a way to stop aging, so you're basically immortal from when you decide to take it. Okay, why don't humans all have access to this? Well, actually, originally, Ortolan wanted all humans to have it. He wanted all humans to be immortal, and he got fucked hard. So the rest of the Knowing Ones decided immortality was just for them. So they lied to Ortolan and told him, Oh, yeah, definitely. Humanity has the elixir. They're all immortal. They're super happy. Don't worry about it. Just do your thing over here. Yeah, mages are absolute assholes. They told the dude, humanity has it. They're immortal now. Everything's great. You just keep inventing stuff for us. I actually want to do a separate video about how far advanced the world of the Witcher would be if not for these asshole mages repressing knowledge uh, and technology. It, it's pretty fucked. So yeah, there you go. That is why mages are immortal. Finally, a mage created an elixir that halted aging, didn't rejuvenate, and the mages decided to just be absolute fucking douches and keep the elixir to themselves and guard the secret and only give it to their own members. Why does that sound so familiar to our world? 